Hello, Hello there. there. I'm Robert. I'm Vanessa. I'm Travis. Vanessa was late to the party on that intro. Hi, guys. It's a new episode of Better Late, late Than, than never. never. Better Late Than Never. Oh, dang. <laughs> but thank you guys for joining us. This is the final episode for this batch of fan-submitted requests for Better Late Than Ever. Don't worry, guys. We'll always have the fan-submitted. We'll do them every so often. So don't say that you did not miss it that you miss this one because we'll come around. Uh, but it gives you your last chance to go to the Patreon and kick into any ideas that you, I don't know what this meant, hearing the idea? He, ideas that you have about yeah. themes we should follow uh -huh. for the Better Late Than Never series. So Travis, what is next? Well, this one was actually asked by two different people. Okay. Ooh. James Clark. Okay. And you. Me? Oh. I don't remember that. Was it one that I said in a video that yes. we were going to do it? Yes. What did I say? I can't remember. James, hook me up. What did I say? What? We'll wait for a response. Go on. Anyways, <laughs> we are about to watch a trailer for a movie that Robert has... What did I say? Clue! I said Clue recently, so what is it going to be, Travis? This movie is based off a board game. Heck yeah. Jumanji. Oh, okay. Battleship. <laughs> I have Every person in this room has the perfect motive. Stand back! For murder. <laughs> what do you mean? Murder. Murder. <laughs> but only then, calling suspects Jam? is the murderer. Is it the timid Mr. Green? Ah, why are you screaming? Because <laughs> I'm crying out one! Screaming! Or the That's not in the movie! Mustard. If I was the killer, I would kill you next. I said if. <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> Martin Moore. Yes. Mrs. White, who helped her husband on his way. That's a matter of life after death. Now that he's dead, I have a life. Ah. Miss Scarlett. You know, so the way that she's dressed, it kind of reminds me of uh, 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 the Black Widow. Uh, Professor Plum, so. who's looking for a way. I'm lucky, I'm lucky. Mrs. Peacock. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what we're doing here, but I am determined to enjoy myself. Or did the butler do it? That's worth it. No. 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 Paramount Pictures invites you to an evening of mystery. Let us in! Let us in! Let, let us out! Let us out! Murder. <laughs> this is getting quite serious. And madness. In the movie that makes a scene of the crime. Ah, oh, the physical comedy. Clue. It's not just a game anymore. Yes. I love Clue. All right, you don't understand so, the shh, level. Roca. Yeah, John awesome. Roca is very much against Clue. I think there's me and a few others. Brian Chandler, I think, is with me on how Did much I? I enjoy Clue. Partly just because the the work and the effort that went into the set pieces. I was actually doing research. Uh, one of my coworkers brought me this old school production magazine that talked about how they actually replicated the entire mansion for them to be able to film yeah. indoor and outdoor. That's crazy. To film this entire movie. Yeah, you could look at the details. I mean, even the floor itself looks like tile pieces that you'd move on the board game. And that's the thing is because the houses that they went and looked at just did not fit the style of house that would be in the movie for the board game. So everything that they invested, the time that went into the production of this set piece was influenced primarily from the board game. And That's why there's a big lobby. Like, and it's like, yeah, <laughs> like the kitchen too. It looks exactly like the way the kitchen looks like on the board game, even though it's a Depending on your version, of course. Yeah. That's <laughs> so many The original versions. version. Yeah. Oh. And that's the thing is, yeah, it all became, uh, it was really based on the hall and how that connects to all the yeah. different rooms in the house. And not, you, you put that aside just at the level of quality that goes into the actual set design, but you have the actors, you have the characters interweaving with each other. I love every actor, I love every character. Um, I know originally they wanted to do Mr. Bean as Wadsworth, or uh, Rowan Atk Atk At Atkinson. Yes. But he was like unknown, so they're like, no, let's get somebody we know. Tim Curry, yeah. I love the choice. Tim he, Curry. Perfect. And the greatest thing I <laughs> think about this movie is how they distributed it out. Yeah. Different endings for different theaters. And it came down to different parts played perfectly from different actors. 
so well put together. Nobody really, although I love Tim Curry, like no one really outshined anybody else mm -hmm. because they all had a perfect role to play. Yeah. Even as minimal as some of the sub characters, for instance, leaving as Mr. Body the short time that he's there. You have uh, calling camp as Yvette. I don't know who the cook was. She was probably the one that got the least love besides the dogs outside. But <laughs> all in all, <laughs> just call her dog. <laughs> she's dead instantly. The cook who killed the cook. Um, she's the first one to go. But yeah, every of the other primary characters within this film get such a good devied out, like, even amount of film Lloyd. time. <gasps> yeah, when he leans oh. up against the bullet. Which you reenacted at Universal Studios. Universal, in our Universal oh. Studios vlog, look for the moment that I reenact Christopher Walken during our Walking Dead Christopher portion. Christopher Lloyd. Christopher Lloyd. What did I say, Walken? Yeah. I was walking through The Walking Christopher Dead. Walken. The Walking Dead with Christopher Lloyd. That's how I got there. <laughs> but either way, yeah, it's such an amazing effort put together by this ensemble comedic cast. What was your favorite ending? My favorite ending is the quintessential ending to Clue. The final ending. The one where Mr. Green gets his resolution. He gets his, <laughs> he gets I, the full arc of his character. I don't remember any of the endings. Well, you have, I don't want to ruin it for anybody who hasn't seen it, but there are three different endings for the most right. part. Right, like the only one that I do remember is like one of them was there as like a cop. No, that, that's, 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 uh, uh. You're thinking of Saved by the Bell episode? <laughs> no, like wasn't there one that was like They're an informant? There. Yes, there is. There was actually a fourth, uh, fourth ending it. that was never done. It was actually Wadsworth was the murderer. He wanted to be the perfect husband, he couldn't do it, perfect lover, he couldn't do it, so he wanted to be the perfect murderer. And he gets arrested, they take him, and he gets out of it, and he runs, gets in the cop car and drives away, but then dogs are in the back and attack him and he drives off the road. They thought it was a silly ending, so they were like, no, let's just cut but it. But that makes sense, but because the dogs with Wadsworth in the very beginning is kind of a thing. Which, which ending were you talking about? Because I think that's the one that I've seen the most. The ending is Wadsworth is actually Mr. Body and Mr. Green is actually uh, no. part, part of the FBI. Maybe that's the one I was talking about is the one that I saw. But isn't there like another one where it's... Uh, what's We're ruining name? it. Miss Peacock and Leslie Ann Warren, Miss Scarlet are both yeah. killers yeah. in the other versions that's as the well. Other one. Either way, it's a fun Ms. movie. Scarlet. Have you guys seen it? Would you guys see it off this trailer? Would Hell you yeah. see it off this trailer? Hell yeah. yeah. I would see it because of the actors that are in the Yeah, in the movie. great ensemble cast. And it the is. cool thing is, too, is you see Christopher Lloyd and Colin Camp together in this film, and they actually play husband and wife and walk like a man, which that's another trailer I would love to do a reaction to. Oh, you had your one. Walk like a man. No, I'll get another one. <laughs> Somebody out there loves walk like a man as much as I do. Colin Camp. Lo uh, uh, freaking Christopher Lloyd, uh, uh, Howie Mandel, and Cloris Leachman. Come on, it's a hell of a movie. Um, but yeah, when it comes to Clue, man, I love every aspect of Clue. The music, like it's so. I thought he was doing the old Six Flags commercial song for a second. <laughs> No, uh, it's manic. It's incredibly manic. It's high energy. It's so fast paced. And uh, it is very much a whodunit in every way, shape, and form. And I love the game. <coughs> Sorry. Bless you. Go ahead. Just saying, I love the game, but I don't know if you guys like playing with me or not anymore. I I don't understand Clue for the most part in terms of the <laughs> it's game. It's after every once in a while, like if you haven't played for a you while, need a lot of you people. need to like re refresh your mind. And at that, like when we played, I had to ref we had to refresh our mind, so we didn't even. We're like, what are we doing? Yeah, I had to figure it out like three moves. Yeah, he, he <laughs> beat us out of uh, out of you know like ten okay? minutes of gameplay. But either way, what did you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. You could also like, you could subscribe. You did the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, start us. All the social networking gin joints, you know where they are. Kick into the party, feel the party, keep the party going at our Patreon. Gets us where we need to go, and it helps you guys get these episodes a few days earlier. Also, those Patreons, make sure to let me know of a theme you have or you want to go through. It could be anything, you know, animation, 80s movies, whatever you can um, think of. Just let me know. Put comments below. And I want to think... Oh, I'm sorry. James Clark. Thanks, brother. I'm right there with you. I was going to say, thank man. you, James Clark. Thank you, Robert. We really appreciate this. Uh, this was a fun one. It is a great movie. It's definitely enjoyable on our part. So thank you, guys. And as always... Now it's time to say goodbye. 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 Now we're going to have like five other endings. 
No. No, that's way too much work. Well, then.